Welcome back to my channel! Today we're gonna learn how to make jewelry with alcohol inks. So first comes first, we're gonna paint them. This is a sp sped up version, so you can see we're applying the alcohol inks in lots and lots of layers and just let happen what's... whatever happens, happens. And it's really cool, looks kinda like a big explosion if you ask me. It's quite an awesome process. Like I said, we're going to make jewelry. Here is one example of what I have done before with my one of my acrylic pores. This one doesn't have anything on the back because I, I taped it up, but these ones are getting kind of dirty on the back, so I'm going to paint them. But first comes first. So what you need is these ones are ceramic, bisque-fired little mini tiles and, and discs and I think, and I have also flowers too, but anyway. And I got them I think on eBay or one of those places, online, pretty cheap. And I um, used to be a ceramic painter and used to use glazes, but I don't use that anymore. I don't have a kiln, so what I used to, is either acrylic paint or inks. These ones are acrylic inks, which is harder to do because they are not, they're porous, so it needs way more ink. So preferably you should first just paint them with acrylic paint, let it dry, and then will be easier to you need less paint or um, ink and it might be more it's just easier to move it around when it's then the paints are going to be manipulated way easier than if it sucks right in so we need ceramic tiles or pieces of wood like little wood pieces would work too again you have to seal the pores excuse me i have to have a cup of tea. Um, so you need that. Then I have here, these are my little beads, different kinds, because I, if I use the band, these silver, silk, beautiful silk bands here, they're actually from old, um, what are they called, sari, um, from India, and somebody made, just cut them into bands like this. So I used a bead on here to kind of make it a little more easier to wear. It just kind of gives it a little more, I don't know, nicer to go around your neck. But I also have these ones. These are also I, got, I think I got them on eBay somewhere or some kind of a craft store. These are like broche pins. I get them out of the thing, which you can glue on the back here, and then you can use it as a broche. I do have earring, um, whatever they're called, too, but they're not flat, and you kind of need flat. I mean, what you could do is, you could make an earring out of this. You put those other ones, the hook ones in, you just, then they're just kind of long. You could do that too, but I only, I don't have those right now. So what I'm doing is using these ones to make pendants and like they're like this. Then you just glue them on the back and I have glue. It's an E600 glue, it's a really strong adhesive, industrial strength adhesive. So this is what I use for that one to glue it on. So let's recap. You need some some kind of a jewelry pendant loop hanger thing. I don't know what they're called. You need glue. You need something that you can hang it from, like these beautiful ones, or 
These are also from that jewelry kit I bought a long time ago. Just for some kind of a necklace. So neat. That, that, and this. Glue. Paint. So I'm gonna all paint these now black. Just a little bit of water. It has to be just so it's uh, covers it easier. And these ones I think are made by Duncan Ceramics. So you can probably get them through some kind of a whoops, ceramic website too. Or like I said, pieces of wood. Painted wood, or you can make polymer jewelry, paper clay jewelry, that all works too. And after they're all painted, I'm going to actually resin them instead of, I'm trying to resin them anyway, it's going to be really interesting because um, I like the, because the ink, it has all these little, it's a lot of depth to it, but you can't really see it with, the resin kind of makes more, makes a, yeah, more depth to the design. They're all resin now. Uh, I didn't make a video because it takes too long to do, but you just follow the instruction in the bottles. Okay. They are resin now. See how sparkly they got? Pretty. What should I make? Necklaces? Brooches? What are you going to think? Okay, so the bags are all dry and I put some varnish on them so they don't, uh, the paint doesn't um, come off and I got my 600 glue I think that's what it's called and I have these pins for brooches I had them laying around for a long time so I'm finally using them and I think those little um, ceramic tiles are really handy for making little brooches so I'm just putting the glue on there and sticking it on it takes about a few hours. The best is just to leave it overnight. Then you don't touch it, uh, then it won't move, and it will be under. Really stuck. Okay, so I I glued on where is it? Here. I glued on the back. A little loopy thing and I have a sort of a springy necklace here. So I'm just gonna try to get it through here. And there you have it. Okay, so here are my little necklaces. Aren't they cute? All different chains on it. That's all I had. Kind of dark rust goes kind of with that, I think. So, yeah. So far, that's what we got. So this is how they look when they're finished. So pretty. And then here we got the 
sort of the bracelet cuff wrap. I'm just gonna loop it through here. On the back. Okay, this is how it looks when it's wrapped. So you can fold it in, but doesn't it look cool? I like it. Okay, so this is how they look in action. Aren't they beautiful? And there's one from the back. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you check out my Etsy store where you can buy all these beautiful things. And also the supply list so you can make them yourself. See you in the next one.